Hey everyone, my name is Monica and today I'll be showing you what I eat in a day for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. DMD is a recessive sex link disorder that causes loss of dystrophin protein at the sarcolemmal membrane. DMD is marked by progressive muscle wasting. Not a lot of studies on DMD discuss the importance of nutrition as a form of treatment, but I think that nutrition is just a really important aspect of everybody's lives and is a really great way to promote better recovery in conjunction with other forms of DMD treatment. So today we'll be looking at a potential nutritional plan that DMD patients can use to alleviate both symptoms of the disease and any side effects of medication. For breakfast, I will be having oatmeal with banana and peanut butter. DMD patients may have weak throat muscles, which makes it difficult for them to swallow, but oatmeal is a really easy food to eat. It also has a lot of fiber, which will help against the increased appetite that often comes with corticosteroids like Enflaza. Having an increased appetite puts DMD patients at an even greater risk for becoming overweight. Fiber may also help to counteract gastrointestinal problems such as constipation. Bananas have fiber as well and may help to moderate blood sugar levels after meals, which will help with feeling full. I'm adding some all-natural peanut butter for healthy fats and protein. Getting adequate protein in a DMD diet is critical as they may help against muscle degradation when coupled with treatment. I'll also be having a glass of milk on the side since excess weight gain can put too much pressure on the bones and lead to osteoporosis. For lunch, I will be having a really simple meal of veggies, starch, and protein. I'm having a Japanese sweet potato, which is a rich source of vitamin A and iron, which both help in strengthening the immune system. Immune responses are a major risk for adeno-associated virus treatment, or AAVs that deliver microdystrophin. Tomatoes have vitamin C, which is good to heal bruises, often a side effect of adiplersin. Onions reduce inflammation. Studies support that anti-inflammatory drugs can help with recovery from muscle atrophy and dysfunction when paired with exon skipping therapy. Eggs have protein and vitamin D, which is good for calcium absorption and to promote bone growth. A low salt diet is necessary for patients using corticosteroids like Diflazacort and those with health problems. So we won't be using salt to season our food, but we will be using dried spices and pepper. For a snack, I'll be having Greek yogurt for protein and calcium, and an apple for vitamin C and fiber. Vitamin C is necessary for the growth, development, and repair of all body tissues. For dinner, I'll be having salmon with brown rice and veggies. Brown rice has a lot of fiber to help you feel satiated. Not only does the salmon provide a lot of protein, but fatty fish can also ease joint pain, which can be a side effect of ediplersin. Weight is disproportionately distributed throughout the stages of DMD. A study reported that 44% of boys aged 9 to 13 years old were above the 90th percentile in weight, whereas after age 17 years, 65% weighed less than the 10th percentile. When designing a nutritional plan for DMD patients, it is important to address the issue of overnutrition in young patients and undernutrition in older patients. Kale is considered a superfood because it is rich in fiber, calcium, antioxidants, and vitamin C, and is an anti-inflammatory food. Broccoli has vitamin C and certain amino acids that can make it a good detoxifier. It can keep away problems related to itches and rashes that can come from taking ediplersin. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something about Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and I hope that nutrition can become a bigger topic in DMD treatment. Bye.